I am sure most of us have seen these videos of medical students allegedly from the University of Nairobi being caught cheating in exams using methods that can only be described as by all means necessary. I mean, I am a lecturer at Multimedia University and has been for the last four years. But during my time as a lecturer, I have never caught students cheating using these kinds of methods that we are seeing in these videos. Indeed, number three, to Maliza. Now, it is not new that cheating in exams is a temptation that a lot of students face. But for medical students, the stakes are really, really high. Being a medical student is never an easy task. The workload is intense, the pressure is real, and competition is fierce. I studied at People's Friendship University of Russia, where a big chunk of students who graduate from that university are medical students. And I could see all this firsthand. Most of the people who I knew did not have time to be anywhere else or engage in any other activity apart from devoting most of their time in their studies. They used to carry a mantra telling us that the knowledge obtained in medicine is not just for passing exams but it's for saving lives. You see, in the medical field, every diagnosis, every decision, every treatment plan can be the difference between life and death. If medical students engage in cheating, they are not only cheating the system, they are also cheating their patients, the colleagues they'll be working with, themselves and the society at large. Look at it this way. Cheating in medical school is basically undermining the foundation of trust that the medical profession is laid upon. I mean, patients trust people working in the medical profession with their lives. And this trust is earned by hard work, competence, and integrity. Pick anybody on the streets. Do you think they would ever go to a medical professional who they clearly have information that they are not qualified? Okay, let me rephrase that question. Your child is sick. Would you ever trust somebody who's not qualified to treat them? Okay, you don't have a child. Let's talk about your parent then. Your mom, your dad, your spouse. Okay, anybody that you care about. I'm sure the answer to this question is a big no. Clearly, the consequences of cheating can be devastating. It is not only limited to disciplinary action or expulsion. Heck, it goes beyond that. There are also legal consequences. Instead of cheating, students in medical school should seek help when they need it. I mean, there are a myriad of options out there. They can study with peers. They can ask questions. Heck, with the internet, there are millions of resources available to such students. I mean, the goal for any medical student should not just be to become the best doctor for themselves, but they should be the best doctor for every patient that trusts and relies on them. It should be at the back of the minds of any student who's studying in medical school to think about whether they would trust anybody who has been cheating in their exams through medical school. And if the answer is no, that they would not trust such an individual, then other patients would probably not also trust them. For a successful medical career, integrity is of utmost importance. Importance. It is all about doing the right thing, even when things are difficult. A student in medical school should always commit to study, to learn, and to be the best version of a doctor that patients deserve. Becoming a doctor is a privilege in society. It is not a right. Anybody who goes to medical school should earn it honestly, and I'm sure they will be proud of the doctor they will become.